This lecture is presented by John Moffat of Open Tuition. For other free lectures, visit opentuition.com. OK, uh, we're now going to go through section B of the paper F5, June 2015 exam. Uh, I've already been through section A. Those lectures uh, are uploaded as well. But let's start section B. First of all, question one. Remember, you can do the answers in any order, but I'll obviously record them in number order. Uh, always look at the requirements first, especially when you're deciding what which order to do the questions in. Um, part A, calculate the full cost per procedure using activity-based costing. So it's obviously an activity-based costing question. Uh, that's six marks. That's the arithmetic part. Part B, for four marks making reference to your findings in part A, advise the finance director as to whether activity-based costing should be implemented. Now, I'm going to do the parts in order, but in the exam, you do them in either order, but appreciate you must do something for part B, you must. You have to 50% uh, on every question. All right, part A alone can get you six out of 10 and you've effectively passed that question, but, the chances when you're rushing of doing part A 100% correct, you know, if you're honest, uh, you like to have made a mistake somewhere, uh, writing something for part B, we'll have a quick chat to it when we come to it, uh, but writing uh, something for part B, you should be, everybody should be able to get one or two marks very quickly, very easily, and not to have added anything in for part B really would be awful. Anyway, let's do the parts in order, part A. They want the full cost per, 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 per procedure using activity based. Let's read it. Beckley Hill is a private hospital carrying out two types of procedures on patients. Each type of procedure incurs the following direct costs. Now for A and B, we're told surgical time and materials and anaesthesia time and materials. And then it carries on about overheads. Well, let's start getting some marks straight away. Why waste time? Uh, I want the full cost of each procedure. And we already know two of the costs straight away. Uh, the surgical, don't bother writing the whole thing out. But surgical time materials, 1200 and 2640. Anesthesia time and material. 800, 1620. As I say, don't write everything out in full, but you must write something. Don't just scribble numbers down. It must be clear to the marker what you're doing. Well, at least that's got me a mark. Uh, more importantly, though, let's, let's carry on. BH currently calculates the overhead cost per procedure by taking the total overhead cost and simply dividing it by the number of procedures, then rounding the cost to the nearest two decimal places. Using this method, the total cost, 247585 for A, and 4735.85 for B. That's interesting. Don't waste time. We want to calculate the cost using activity-based costing. For the moment, I don't care um, how they've calculated them at the moment. <coughs> Recently, another hospital has implemented activity-based costing this has led the finance director to consider whether this alternative costing technique would bring any benefits. He's obtained an analysis of the total overheads for the last year and some additional uh, data, all of which is shown below. Well, this is the bit where the work's involved, the overheads. You can see there, there are four overheads, admin, nursing, catering, general facility. They've told us the total They've told us what the driver is. And so for each of them, we need to work out how much we're we going to charge um, for each of the two procedures. And they've told us that last table for the two procedures A and B, they've told us the number of procedures, the admin time per procedure, the length of stay per procedure, and the average number of meals. So, let's have a go. I'll do them in order, doesn't matter which order you do them in, but I'll do admin first. 
Uh, and it says the cost driver is the admin time per procedure. So to keep it neat, I'll show you the workings. Let's just do admin. We know what the total cost is, 1870160. Since the driver is the admin time per procedure, well, we know uh, from the table below how many procedures there are. We know the admin time for each procedure in hours. So let's work out the total time. A, there are 14,600 procedures, each one taking one hour. Uh, for B, there are 22,400 procedures, each one taking an hour and a half. So how many hours are we spending in total? Forty-eight thousand two hundred hours, and so what is um, the absorption rate, the cost per hour? One eight seven zero one sixty, forty-eight two hundred, uh, thirty-eight eighty, uh, and so let's go back and put it in our table. It's 38.80 per hour. Uh, procedure A takes one hour. At 38.80 is 38.80. Procedure B takes one and a half hours. One and a half times 38.8 is 58.20. So, no problem. We'll go on to nursing. And incidentally, do show your workings, do. You know, the marks in section B are for the workings, not for the final answer. There's so many silly arithmetic mistakes you could have made. But what I've written there um, is more than enough to make it clear to the marker that I know what I'm doing. And even if I made a silly arithmetic mistake, I'd still be getting you know, most of the marks for that little bit of it. There won't be much for each bit, there's only six marks in total. But, you know, instead of one mark there, I'd be getting half a mark. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, the next one was nursing. The driver is length of patient stay. So, the same approach as before, effectively. We know the cost, 6215616. Um, the total length of stay. Well, we know how many hours they stay for each procedure. So the total time, we're doing 14,600 for procedure A. Uh, the stay is 24 hours. We're doing 22,400 of B and the stay is 48 hours. And so the total time, 14,600 times 24 plus 22,400 times 48, I get 1,425,600. Two, so the cost per hour of patient stay, 6,215,616 over 1,425,600 is... Uh, I get 4.36 per hour. So uh, let's stick that one in. Uh, back to the table. Sorry, that was workings one, this was workings two. 4.36. For A, 24 hours at 4.36. 104.64. Uh, for B, 48 hours at 436, 20928. Uh, next, catering. Uh, so number of meals, so again, total cost, catering. 
966976. Uh, what's the total number of meals? There are 14,600 procedure A, and they get one meal per patient. 22,400 uh, of B, and they're getting four meals. So the total number, I think it's 104,200. And therefore the cost per meal, 966976, 104,200. Uh, 9.28. So let's go back and stick that in. Uh, 9.28 per meal. Procedure A, there's one meal. At 9.28 is 9.28, obviously. Procedure B is four meals. Ah, four times 9.28 is 37.12. <coughs> And the last one, a general facility. The total cost, eight, five, five, three, six hundred. Um, this is based on length of patient stay. So the total hours of stay I've already worked that out somewhere. Um, it was the same for nursing. And for nursing, uh, 1425600. Four, and so the cost per hour for general. Uh, is six. So virtually there, let's finish it. Um, six dollars an hour. And so for procedure A, 24 hours at six is 144. And finally for procedure B, 48 hours, so it's going to be twice that. 288. And now we've got it, the total. A two two nine six seventy two and for B. Four eight five two sixty. I think those are right. I'm certainly not going to waste time checking them. I wouldn't in the exam uh, because I said earlier it's not the final figure that gets the marks. It's for the workings, and certainly my workings were correct. So that takes a while. I appreciate I've been talking, which slows me down. Uh, but even so, you really don't have much time to think. You've got to know. Um, the approach for activity-based costing, uh, that's got to be automatic. And then it really, really is speed on your calculator. Um, you can't mess around. Um, you know, six months isn't much. Uh, what about part B? Now, I'm not going to write out a full answer. That would just be uh, boring a waste of time. You can read the examiner's answer. Uh, but remember, the examiner always writes more than she expects. Um, they're not wanting much for four marks. And I said at the beginning, I mean, it's a very, a very clever question, this. There's one or two points that everyone should have been able to make. 
and everybody should therefore be able to get one or two marks very quickly indeed. Um, there's another point I doubt many people would have made, but let's have a think. Making reference to your findings, advise the finance director as to whether it should be implemented. Now, anything you write is reference to your answer. So even if your answer was wrong, if you write sensible comments based on your answer, you'll still get the marks. You don't lose marks twice. But that's what we come to using activity-based. At the moment, what have they got? At the moment, they're using uh, absorption costing divided by number of procedures. We're not going to check it. They've got 2475.85. And they've got, for B, 4735.85. Now, the two obvious comments, if you've done any work in activity-based, uh, would be, firstly, and I'm not going to write this down in full, um, I say it would be wasting time, but write it neatly in the exam. Uh, but firstly, activity-based is more accurate. And the reason that's important is that, you know, the total OVEX are the same, whatever we do, that in total is 17.606 million. But the reason you want more accurate costings is you'd be able to arrive at a better selling price. It will lead to better selling price decisions. It's a private hospital. You know, they want to make sure, obviously, that they're making a profit on each procedure. And so the more accurate their costings are, the better base that becomes for the selling price. So that's a standard comment for any ABC. Uh, a second comment, based on the information we've got here, uh, is that in fact, it's not actually made a lot of difference. You know, um, given the amounts involved, moving to activity-based makes product um, uh, procedure A a bit more expensive. So, you know, maybe that might need putting the price up. It makes product B uh, a little bit cheaper. Maybe we would afford to reduce the price. But there's not really a massive difference. So um, not a great difference. From what they're currently doing. Now again, why do we do it? We want to have more accurate costs, better selling prices. But it will cost money. To implement activity-based, there's a lot of work involved and it's only worth spending the money if the benefits from better selling prices are more than the costs. And so there's a question mark there in that ABC is a costly exercise. And I say I'm not writing in fully and don't write too much, you're not expected to. But it, it, it does raise a question for the, at least not that much of a difference, but for the difference um, it makes, uh, they would have to consider how expensive it would be to implement activity base and therefore whether it really was worth the effort. Now, those are three points which, again, everybody should have been able to, uh, to make. It's very standard, certainly the first and the third. There's costs involved in doing it. ABC is attractive because it's more accurate. Uh, the middle one obviously depends on the figures. It may have made a huge difference here. Uh, it's not made that much. However, there's one more point to really sort out uh, who'd got it. Uh, it's a very clever point. If you look at those overheads. Admin catering are relatively small. The two big ones are nursing and general. That's where most of the overheads are. And interestingly, both of those have been absorbed on the length of stay.
admin, catering. Again, on the scale of things, they are relatively small. And so what the examiner suggested, and it's a terribly good point, is that because it's expensive to implement, and it's not going to make that great a difference anyway, perhaps what may be better you can't see which is best, but what might be better uh, when you're advising the finance director is to carry on using um, normal absorption costing but you see at the moment they're dividing by number of procedures they're taking total overhead costs divided by number of procedures fine but because of what I just said about the two big costs being nursing and general and both of them being based on length of stay, maybe instead of going through the whole of um, activity based, instead of, uh, we should use absorption, but instead of absorbing a number of procedures, we should absorb based on um, length of stay. You know, which effectively had been doing what we did with um, general and nursing, dividing the cost by the total hours. But doing that for all the overheads, taking the total of 17.6 million, absorbing that and getting an hourly rate on the total hours stayed, and using that. It wouldn't be as accurate as activity based, and we're certainly not going to do it, it's not asked for. It wouldn't be as accurate. But, if you understood me, because these two are relatively small, absorbing all the overheads based on length of stay, um, in fact, would make very little difference at all. That would be a lot cheaper. There we are, anyway. There is question one.